sparkling sunshine on a breeze-swept island in the Gulf of Mexico. What a perfect setting for a holiday for Nancy and Bill. A joyous holiday with an extraordinary surprise in store. They are about to discover a remarkable landmark. It is no more, but our lucky pair saw it, explored it, along with the island paradise that is the Longboat Key of today. A fantastic ruin, a ghost hotel that stood as a landmark on Longboat Key for 37 years. John Ringling, the Circus King, began construction in March of 1926 of what was to be the Showplace Hotel of Florida. It was to have a name to match the elegance plan for it. So he agreed to pay $5,000 a year to use the name Ritz-Carlton. Even in a state of ruin, the rotunda with its giant sunken pool designed for rare tropical fish and exotic plants presents a vision of grandeur. The great staircase ascends from the lobby floor to the mystery of what was to be. Now its ghostly hallways echo not to the gaiety of beautifully gowned ladies and their handsome escorts, but to the breezes from the Gulf of Mexico pouring through. Now up the great stairwell, but carefully, and finally, out again to the warm sunshine and a rooftop view of the beautiful golf course built on the identical plan that the dream of Ringling brought forth so many years ago. They must see it all, this fabulous ruin, sitting like a sentinel at the entrance to Longboat Key on a site selected by John Ringling. There must be a terrific view from way up there so up the stairwell to the tower. And sure enough, it is worth the climb. Lovely waterways wend through and around the site, through the pass to the gulf, and over the bridges to the city across Sarasota Bay. This monument to magnificence, started by John Ringling so long ago, was created to bring much of the beauty of Italy and its architecture to America. The Italian influence is evidenced in the towering battlements, the sweeping arches, and the majestic statues, now chipped and broken. There's haunting mystery and romance in this tattered vestige of a bygone era. visited Venice, Rome, Naples, and Genoa, buying statues and columns by the score, numerous marble doorways, and other architectural features which he shipped to America in chartered freighters. John Ringling, with a vision of future greatness, chose Longboat Key for the site of the great hotel to be. He chose wisely, for today this sparkling jewel in the Gulf of Mexico presents a fairyland of subtropic beauty. Longboat Key has fulfilled the promise that enchanted Mr. Ringling. Its people call it the key to happiness. Beautiful homes built on the shores of the tranquil bay or along the Gulf beaches enjoy the quiet languor of the almost perfect climate. A 
Along the 20 mile beach drive, faraway places with strange sounding names lure the vacationer on this island paradise. Beaches of white sugar-like sand embrace the gentle surf for mile upon mile of uncrowded splendor. On Longboat Key, where the dream became reality, Nancy and Bill Foch to enjoy. The Longboat Key Art Center presents exhibits throughout the year. They golf on the championship course they had seen from the top of the ghost hotel. They found fishing in the inlets and coves, the lazy way. Boating along the coastline, exploring the many fascinating channels, and of course the exciting sport of water skiing of the bay. delighted in the sun-filled hours on the beaches, shelling, prospecting for buried treasure, and then one day they came upon another rather unusual sight. Hmm, 1538, Juan Anasco, and Ponce de Leon, 1513. Spanish influence must be pretty strong around here. What on earth? A Spanish troop in armor on these shores? Shades of DeSoto. Well, they seem friendly enough. But of course, they are citizen quistadors rehearsing for the pageant. Key to happiness. Nancy and Bill found it here, enjoying the loveliness of life on this subtropic in the Gulf of Mexico, exploring great ruin that was demolished only ephemerate always. Longboat Key. 